What are your impressions now, six practices in the camp? What do you like? What do you not like? You know, I I think it's, I mean, I thought it's day, day to day. And it's like every day you're trying to figure out what the team needs and what, what the mentality is. I think six practices in, you, it's safe to say you're in the grind of it. And these guys are probably feeling the, the effects, of the aggregate of all the the, uh, the work we put in. Um, and I think that's the important time where they got to push. You know, I'm excited for Saturday for the scrimmage. It was good to go live today and get to see guys playing um, situational football. And so, you know, there, there's there's a lot to like, but, you know, obviously you always feel like there's a long way to go. And we're still, you know, we're still early in this. And, and um, I did not think yesterday was our sharpest day. I thought we, we gave in to the heat a little bit. I thought today we bounced back and had a better day. And it's just we need to start stacking some positive traction here. Yeah, how do you feel about the team's conditioning overall? You know, it's I think being in shape and in like summer strength and conditioning, I think we did a great job. You know, I think Coach Morgan and staff do do excellent work. I think playing at the level that we want to play with total effort um, requires attention in camp. And so I'm not going to say that I'm pleased with where our playing shape is, where our fitness is. I think we have to keep pushing that, and uh, that's what we're doing. But I do see positive signs with respect to um, – particularly on defense, it, it looks as though we're capturing the spirit and enthusiasm we need to take to each snap, and we got to keep building that until we play a Y. Uh, do you have injury updates on uh, Babst and also, you know, I assume Davion and, and um, Devin Lee, is that just kind of status quo? Or Yeah, that's th those are longer term, um, but they're making progress. So it just, you know, it's, they're not, you're not going to see them out with us necessarily anytime soon, but um, we're excited about where they're headed. Baps is day to day. I mean, he, he he did a little more today than he did yesterday. It's just about maintenance, and those things are going to come up. I mean, um, you know, that's what camp is. You know, you, you have these little nicks, and they grow, and you got to do a great job of, um, you know, focusing on recovery and being available, and he's doing that. Through, through six practices, where, where do you think the offense is won? Where do you think the defense is won on the whole? Um, you know, it's it's been a good back and forth like I, and that's what you you know when you're when you're talking about your team you want you want wins on both sides i thought i think at times we've shown great chemistry on offense i think our operation is way cleaner um i think our identity is way sharper so i feel like i see um every day us building into that identity um you know as we've gotten into live football we've been able to see mike wright make some plays with his legs and obviously that's exciting to see you know i think both ken and aj have done a nice job too and and um, continue to impress uh, with their command of the offense um, you know Will Shepard it's got, it's got to find consistency but again that's what camp's about but I think he's he's playing really hard right now he's playing with total effort he's he's made some one-on-one -on -one catches particularly in the red zone that you know get you excited about what's possible there but you know you have to do it all the time and we know he'll do that and you just got to keep working um, so, you know, there, there's been things, and I, I think our running backs are running hard. I mean, I, I've been really impressed with their finishes. I thought today, um, particularly when we were in the, the middle of the field, they, they showed some toughness and resolve. Um, so they're doing a nice job. And uh, defensively, I mean, um, you know, it, it's, um, we, 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 we like our, our length and athleticism. I think getting in shape and seeing that total effort snap in, snap out. Uh, we need to be more disruptive on the ball. So, you know, I think credit to the offense. We haven't had as many turnovers this camp. But, um, you yeah, know, I'd like to see a little more confidence in attacking the ball and a little more violence in the finish. Um, but those guys are coming along. You know, depth in the defensive line is going to be huge. Um, we have the ability to, to get to that point, but we have to have our young players come on. And in the second there, we got young guys that need to, you know, through the scrimmages here in fall camp, need to show that they're, they're ready to play and help us. How has having those three to four defensive linemen out changed the way you practice and the way that you line up? Uh, it, it doesn't necessarily change the way we line up in terms of structure. Um, it changes, you know, how how often we're able to split the fields and have two drills going at once. So we've we've kind of dialed back on that a little bit. The other thing is that the more situational football you work, the more you might be putting an extra D lineman on the field. So those periods, we want to also keep offense and defense um, so that we can have our depth available. But um, the guys that, you know, the guys that are healthy are, are getting great work. And, you know, for a guy like Nate Clifton, who who missed spring, you know, this is a huge chance for him. 
we should be getting some of those guys back too that have been kind of soft tissue issues that, uh, that, that should be returning in the next few days, and that'll help. Malik Langham obviously has always had a lot of talent. Feels like he's maybe starting to put it together. Is that what you've seen? I mean, what do you think of his camp so far? He's fighting. First of all, Malik has the ability to be an impactful player in our league, and we we, we have high um, aspirations for his success this season. Malik has to find consistency, and I know that's like, um, I mean, I know understand that as you know, coach speak. But what what I mean is. You know, when he makes the decision to go and he's dialed in uh, and playing at his um, optimal physical level with total effort, he's hard to block. Um, you know, when there there are times when he has that has to be pulled from him right now, and um, you know he's opening up to allow that to happen. But you know, the the, the day that comes where day in day out we're getting the same guy uh, as far as his highest level. I mean, he 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 comes out and goes to work, but I'm talking about him pushing himself. To that, to that top tier, that elite level. Um, when he's shown it out here, he's flashed. And so we're excited about what that'll look like. We gotta keep pushing to it. You have had, I don't know, six, seven receivers make plays at different points in camp. How do you feel about the depth and that room as, as a whole and how they've played in the fall? Well, I think we're still developing that depth. I think, I mean, obviously I, I feel like, you know, Will, Will, is, Will is, you know, kind of leading the way in that group but I mean you're right it's you know between Jaden and um, Gamarion's made a couple of nice catches and Quincy's kind of started to grow into some consistency day in day out Logan has I mean there, there are a lot of people in there that are that are stepping into roles um, you know they've got the next three weeks to really solidify something for themselves and it can't just be about the flashes it's got to be again about the consistency but um, yeah, I think we were excited to see kind of where that room goes uh, from here to the, the finish of camp. It seemed like you guys were bringing Quincy along, along maybe slowly the first few practices. Um, I don't know if that was a health issue or what that was there, but how do you feel about his progress? Yeah, I feel good. Yeah, he was uh, in, a, in a load management uh, mode where we were, we were returning him from a soft tissue issue from the summer, and so that's, that's pretty typical. Um, but I think again, I you know I, I see Quincy and I think about you know last fall camp and just you know the, the emotional roller coaster and just feeling like he was fighting to find some stability for himself. Now I feel like I get the same person every day, and he's um, I, again he's fighting to carve out a significant role for himself, and I'm proud of the work he's done. I'm happy for him. How are you feeling about the O line right now? Uh, more cohesive than a year ago, um, playing with an identity um, uh, of toughness and, and finishing. Um, I think you know over the over the next couple of weeks that that you know that the first five will kind of separate themselves. I think on the whole we still have you know eight guys that we're looking at right now that that could be a part of that, and and we're pleased with the the young part of that unit and how they're coming along and and uh, competing. So um, I see a group that's that's, you know, again, stepping into a physical identity that's that's playing more as a collective unit. Um, and that gives us a chance to be effective. And, and um, you know, we need elevated play from that group, obviously, because we're in the SEC and the games are won in the SEC in the trenches, so. Jalen Mahoney has helped you in a lot of spots, had a great spring, has been pretty good out here this fall. Where do you think is the spot where he helps you the most? Or is that gonna change from week to week? Well, we love his versatility, and so we'd like to be able to, um, you know, um, week to week determine where he can be best. Although he, he's he's really spending time for us in, in the inside triangle now, so more nickel safety, less corner. Um, we know he has corner ability and corner skills, but we just love his attack um, on the ball, and, and we think the more we can get him involved in the core of the defense, the better. I mean, he's, he's emerged as a leader on the field for us and a guy that we – that's just so steady and we count on. I mean, you talk about consistency, he, he would be a representation of that. So more safety nickel for him, but you know, we know we can move him out in a pinch and he would do fine. You've got an interesting battle with, with Ethan Moore and, and Kane Patterson at the same spot. How do you how do you find enough reps for both of those guys? Well one of the one of the big um, you know, as we scrutinized last season is at the second level, you know, we played Anthony and Ethan too many snaps. And so, you know, for every game that we play 80 snaps, if we can, if we can have a split, even if it were 60-20, you know,
you know, over over the course of you know four games, you've saved the game from your top group. What we think Kane brings is a competition for starting reps, and um, and so we want to let that play out through camp. But you know, I think the best linebacker units that I've coached in my career have have had you know at least three, if not four, guys contributing, and that's what we want to have uh, this fall. Anything else, guys? Uh, we'll get the players in. Thanks, Thanks